FaceTime mommy. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. It's go by Drew Hi, y'all. We back with another big body banger. I'm scared. Um, I, I haven't done a scary video in a very long time. Last time I did it, I think I was doing my little brother. I don't usually get scared of things. It's pretty late right now, and you know I live all by myself now. So probably, I haven't watched a scary movie or anything since I live by myself for a reason. Um, but today I'm going to be reacting or watching scary videos. Uh, uh, do not watch these scary videos at night. And um, it's nighttime, and I'm about to watch it by myself, all alone, in my apartment, by myself, all alone, by myself. And I'm making it even worse. I'm, I'm gonna wear headphones too, because you know it can be kind of scary with the speakers, but I feel like it's extra scary if I put the headphones on. I really, you know, I don't usually get scared by stuff, but then again, I have never watched, I haven't watched any scary things since I moved out. So it's not like, oh, I can go to bed and be like, if I have a bad dream, I can climb to my mom's bed or dad's bed or something like that. What am I gonna climb into Leo's bed? It's too small. I'm, I can't do that. But um, before we get into the video, Dread.com, I'm saying about two or three, we bundle up, say $50. It's really dark in here. I'm surprised my camera can even like see me because it's actually pretty dark in here. The camera sees a lot better. Like I can't see. It's like the video right now because I'm doing this for y'all entertainment. Hopefully it's not really scary. It's one of those videos that's on YouTube and it's not really scary. But um, you know, I do have my protection though, just in case it gets too scary. I got my my thingy. Cause you know like you know like when you have a bad dream, right? Or if you think something like or somebody broke into your house or something and you hide under your covers, you feel safe. Even though covers never stop the bullet or stab wound or somebody come to kidnap you. But it makes you feel safe, so I have a nice little blanket to keep me safe. And at this point, I'm stalling because I obviously don't want to watch this video. I hope it's not scary. I really hope it's not. It's probably not. It's not going to be scary, bro. Come on, bro. I'm 21 years old. I'm black. I wear a do-rag. I have tattoos. I am the scary person. I That was not funny at all. That was not funny. Anyways, um, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Like the video right now if you're ready. You ready? You sure you ready? You don't need more time? You sure? You sure? You don't? You... Let's go, bro. I'm warning Why you. Why is this so loud? I'm warning you not to watch these scary videos at night unless you want to watch them again in your nightmares. Number 12. All right, why is he talking like this? It's pissing me off. Not to watch these scary movies at night unless you want to watch them in your nightmares, please. Two YouTube ghost investigating groups team up for this video, but they find something even worse instead. Because you know for a fact that's going to catch everything down there. It already looks bad when they first found it, but the flames are as twice as wide and twice as tall by the time the authorities arrive on scene. They have to be diligent as they lift the rubble up to check for signs of flames in the middle. If they miss a single burning patch, this whole situation could happen again tonight. When the first responders leave, the team checks out what it was. Someone who was putting this entire forest at risk so they could burn trash when they thought burning it was safer than dumping it is beyond me. They were either extra- All right, the way he's talking is pissing me the heck off. It's beyond me. Why are you talking like that? You sound stupid. The scariest part of this video is your freaking voice. Extremely foolish, didn't care, or were trying to do it on purpose. Perhaps all three. Number 11. Jan Flink heads to a crumbling cluster of haunted cabins in his home country of Finland. His flashlight cuts out six times as soon as he reaches the back of the first cabin. He is still holding it though, so maybe he is doing it himself. Up in the attic, he finds this strange setup, a single bowl on a makeshift sleeping area made of thin wood. Only one shoe is never a good sign. He goes outside in his flash. Only one shoe is never a good time. It's never a good sign. The heck does, what's, what is that? What sign is that? What is that sign? What is one shoe? What is, 
His voice is... I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. His voice is pissing me the heck off. I can't watch 11 minutes of this. His voice is stupid. Slade starts messing up some more, but look behind him right before it does. Um, should I just say bye? Um, or see you again in next video. What the f*** is that? What the f*** is that? Oh, no. Okay, no, 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 no. No 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 no! What is that? What is that? Oh no no no! Oh no! Okay, all right, that's a little creepy. It ain't nothing much. It's just a little creepy. It ain't nothing crazy. But it's just a little. Or it's, just, it's not creepy. It's weird. It's like why would that be there? It's not scary. It's just like confusion. You know. See you again in next video. Bye. A woman in red with long black hair is looking at him. It wouldn't be too hard to fake this. And the fact that nothing happens for 44 minutes until the very end of this video makes me suspicious. But Jan Flink claims that this is the spirit of a woman who had a bad encounter with a bear in 1964 and passed away. It's been years since the video was posted, and as far as I've been able to research, he never said it was fake. Number Is he alive right now? What's his name? And as far Janny Flink. I'm finna look him up. If it says this man passed away, I'm turning this video off. I'm telling you right now. If it says he mysteriously passed away, I'm turning this video off. I swear on everything I will. I will repent. Um don't say it doesn't say rip it does not say r.i.p rest of the oh i thought it said rest in peace it says rest of the barbershop oh all right we're good as far as i've been able to research he never said it was fake number 10 a youtube channel called three slash amir amr searches the for what that? this video title roughly translates why would he go towards it what in the white timidies is this I know he's white. I don't even know who the heck he is, but I know he's white. How do you see that and run towards you, you freaking idiot? You're stupid. Only white people do that. You never see a black person. You would never in your life. Come on, searches today. for what his video title roughly translates into English as the most dangerous magician. Though its glowing eyes make it look less human and more like a djinn, the Arabic word for demons and spirits. Okay. Bismillah <laughs> The way the eyes come into focus at 1 minute and 4 seconds looks pretty good, but I think it might be special effects because the overall resolution seems to briefly drop. White and red eyes look at him from outside of a window, and there's a really good look at them here at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, but these eyes look like they could be any of the city lights shown here when he goes outside. He does see the djinn standing outside of a window, eyes glowing white as ever. It disappears, then he sees either the same creature or possibly another one in the building directly behind him. Right, what now the feeling heck is he surrounded. searching for? Death? Is he searching for- is he trying to die? What is he looking for? What are you searching for, sir? Whatever the heck, I can't even speak Arabic, so I can't even tell you your name, you AMR person. What the heck is the matter with you? He turns and flees this entire area, but not before catching glowing eyes looking at him from the window within. Number nine. Watch how this ghost is working out. This ghost over here getting swole. He gets big body swole. He's getting big body swole. Am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. It's because the headphones is loud. I'm sorry, y'all. It's like somebody's sitting there. This outdoor workout station is moving all by itself, or so it seems. I think someone could be moving it with wires off camera. At the beginning, he shows this zoomed in shot, but it's vertical, so there is plenty we can't see. I'm not saying this video isn't real. I'm just saying I would be more convinced if he showed the entire street to prove that no one else was around. Why is that ghost trying to get Baki, though? What other ghost is he trying to beat up? That boy Casper trying to get jacked, bruh. Number eight. Two women get on an elevator and strike up a friendly conversation with each other. They, they shuffle around a lot, and you can tell nothing is occupying they the area behind humping. them. Soon they get off the elevator and leave behind a child who is glowing bright white. The other. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! What is this? Is this an ad? Yes. Yes. Light. War Thunder. I love this video game. Favorite video game ever. Holy aura looks like. But what the f is happening here? And why? Are, where are its legs? 
I don't like this. I don't like this. My, I'm getting shivers, and I'm I'm not even scared. It's just I'm cold. You know, I'm cold. It was probably edited. Wait a second. Don't they say when you get cold, that's like when ghosts. Using special software, the way the child looks straight down is a somewhat outdated horror movie cliché. Both of these indicate that this video is most likely fake, but there's something about it that makes me feel it could be real. What is it? What, so what, what about it makes you feel... What a, tell me. I'd like to get the final confirmation from you. Number seven, a YouTuber named Nellis is exploring a haunted mansion in Bosnia where many people lost their lives during a dark chapter of their nation's history. Active minds dot the surrounding woods so they have to head straight inside. One of the first things they see is what they think are belts hanging from the ceiling that people could have looped around their neck, though I think they could have been hooks from hanging lamps. And there's them belts again. Look up there, there's them belts. Do people hang themselves? There's definitely people here. I think they sat around there. We see them again up close for a couple of minutes later, and they aren't belts at all. But I still don't know what they were used for. But wait, forget about the ceiling. Look what at what's that? hanging against the wall. What is Going that? back to the first clip I mentioned earlier. It seems it was there all along. What is that? Number six. No, what is it? It's like a wolf. I think it's about a wolf. the ceiling. Is that a wolf? Or is it just but like I still a, a don't dog? know what they were used. It's so, used for, so but wait, forget about the ceiling, look at what's, what's hanging happening. against the wall. Going happening. back to the first clip I mentioned earlier, it seems it was there all along. Number six, it's midnight when this ladder starts walking by itself. Right, <laughs> and now we got a walking ladder. <laughs> Since when did Bob the Builder die? in an apartment building garage. It looks like it has to be the work of a ghost, but it's actually on a very gradual ramp moving down. This middle section of the ladder, called a spreader, looks like it's too worn out to lock in place anymore. And so the ladder almost tips over and then catches itself, taking another step forward in the process. But still, somebody has to bump the ladder first to get it moving. So if this just spontaneously happened out of nowhere, then that's a cause for concern. I like this guy. His his voice sucks, but he's proven the things is fake. It's making me feel less less scared. Number five, a YouTube channel called Jaeger Expective is partying at a rental home. They soon suspect is haunted after running some experiments. According to them, these motion activated lights don't turn on unless someone is in the room. Yet the lights come on here when the room is empty. Isn't that censored? I think the lights might turn on whenever the door opens though, because when you watch it again, that's pretty much exactly what happens. So they could be wrong about the lights, but next they hear a faint sound from far away. It sounds like one of those really old fashioned phones that used to have an actual bell on top. Uh, everybody has their phones, right? Yeah. Everyone decides to talk about it again in the morning and they go to bed or at who is sleeping in these freaking houses? Idiots, that's who it is. Let me see if I spot a white person. You spot someone white? I mean, you spot somebody black? No, black people would never. Everyone decides to talk about it again in the morning. Is she naked? Hey, yo, hey, yo. Go to bed, or at least they try. Strange sounds continue throughout the night. Stuff that's hard to catch on camera, like a single footstep and nothing else. In the morning, they all still have a bad feeling. That's a nice house. I ain't gonna hold you. Look at that. It's beautiful, actually. Look at that. Watch it. Watch in the morning, it. they all still yeah, have a bad beautiful. feeling and feel what they describe as a that's chilly a nice vibe house. permeating every room. Jaeger does a quick recording of every room in the house and picks up this figure, which I think could just be his reflection in a mirror, or maybe not. Number four. Or maybe not. He sounds stupid. Whoever this is sounds freaking stupid. Or a YouTuber called Wet Tent catches a poltergeist in action in his home. As evidenced by this slamming door, he shows that there is nobody on the other side and then waits for it to happen again. My door be closed sometimes. Why the it's f it is slam my door don't slam! My door does not slam! What the f is happening?
It's creepy. Yeah, you lost me. You lost me. Ain't no wind doing that. You can't justify this one, whatever the heck your name is. Yeah, until you see his window is open, so it could be a breeze. The breeze ain't slamming the door. It'll close it. It'll close it like that, but it ain't slamming it. The f ah, It's creepy until you see his window is open. So it's creepy until it's still creepy. Still, you stupid idiot. But it could be a breeze. And here at 13 seconds, you can see a tag on his covers moving the wind. I just wanted to show this video because I think that it could help explain other videos with slamming doors. Still, I would not totally discount this video. Wet Tent should make a new one with the window closed and see if it still happens. Number three, this television is acting strange, perhaps haunted. At least if you ask Mustang 2005. Look at this. Dude, it's like spazzing out. What? What's going on here? The volume keeps going down by itself no matter what he does. He turns everything off and back on again. The ghost obviously does not want to watch whatever the crap you got on your freaking TV. Put some Juvia on. I bet he turned that John all the way up. Let's talk about it. And hoping that'll solve it. Oh my god. But the volume just goes back down. And this time he's holding a different remote, one of the older Kindle Fire Stick remotes, made before they had volume controls. He's holding it upside down, but this is where the volume buttons would have been. The remote for the volume is on the table. Maybe he lives with someone who is turning the volume down from the other room, either with his knowledge or as a prank, but there's no way to prove that. So what do you think? Manufacturing. His voice is stupid. What do you think? Like, shut. Why are you talking like that? You're annoying. I'm finna make a whole roast video. Error? Practical joke? Or a ghost? Number two. Or a ghost? Somebody get they man before I slap some freaking grammar sense into him. A postal worker is moving some mail around an office building and summons an elevator. There's an overhead light in the. Th Since when do people say they summon an elevator? You summon an elevator? No, you just press the down or up button. You call it. You don't even call the elevator. You just press the freaking button. You don't summon no elevator. Third camera that flickers from the very beginning of the video onwards, which may or may not be an indication of something paranormal. Notice how this electrical disturbance briefly spreads to the elevator as soon as the doors open. So far, this could just be a technical malfunction, but that doesn't explain what happens next. Watch as the papers start fluttering on their own despair there, being no possible draft inside out? of the cramped space. Out? You bugging? I ain't never going in the elevator again. I've been trying not to look behind me because I feel like, I don't know, I don't have, I, never mind, but I ain't going to the elevator and just, and ghost is in there. I can't help but notice how the papers stop fluttering every time he looks over only to resume again when he stops paying attention. All right, what the duck is happening here? Explain this one, please, sir. I need an explanation. It definitely looks paranormal to me. Again, the lights flicker on and off as soon as the doors open, almost as if a paranormal entity is getting on and off the elevator with him. He notices that the lights are flashing an awful lot down here, but he chooses to ignore it and keeps moving. You don't pay me enough for this. You don't. Dang. A short while later, this phantom businessman partially emerges from a realm beyond our own. I have trouble believing this part is not computer generated effects, but that doesn't necessarily mean the whole video is fake. Maybe everything up to this part was real, and someone added in this final scare at the end. Or worse still, maybe I'm wrong and this ghost really was behind him. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills, and if you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chilling. I'm about to fire your ugly self up because you sound stupid. Your, your voiceage is horrible. Dylan underscore is chilling. Why he verified on Instagram on YouTube? This is what he looked like. Can y'all see that? Yeah, I can't see it. No, y'all don't want to see it. Oh, it's right there. That's what he looks like. No wonder he sounds like this. He has a million on Instagram, though. I want a million. How many? He gets 122,000 likes on a picture? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, guess we could just uh, keep watching it, I guess.
YT and tap that follow button to find out. Have you seen the number 15 music video okay, that know. generosity makes you a happier person? So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Number one, in this with Printify, start right. an online right. business and ease to design any product and it. sell it online. Ghost Investing Collaboration, yeah, yeah, Members of the Holy Walkers, Urban Ghost Urban Explorations, and 539 Productions team up to check out some abandoned properties in the woods at night. They are close friends, and so it becomes a lighthearted exploration full of laughs, but they do miss two things. One of them happens during a passing moment of silence. Uh. You can see a Joe in his native environment. Wait, I don't know at? what that is, but I do know it sounds large and close by. And during this exact moment appears two green eyes that look like they could be leaves at first. Those except are they aren't touching the tree next to it, and they aren't pine needles like the rest. Believe it or not, the Those same face appears behind a screen window exactly five leaves. minutes Those and ten seconds leaves. later. So I don't think they necessarily found a ghost, but something was probably out there with the them. Is that? And if they ever return, they might be unlucky enough to find it again. And next time it might do more than just watch. When things become mysterious, unexplained, and most of all, really creepy, okay. you I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, I need to turn on the lights. I don't want to do that again. Um, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like right now. I see I was low key creeped out. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm I'm gonna go Facetime uh, somebody so I have somebody to talk to get my mind off of this. It wasn't scary. It was just I don't know. But uh, if y'all want me to do this again, y'all gotta get a hundred million thousand likes. I ain't doing it for nothing less. Um, before you dip out though, I feel like I just. I don't even feel like what I did. I don't know. I'm scared. But kind of stuff with you, Rag. That made me not scared anymore. I appreciate that. You buy two with their free bump up, say something loud. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'm uh, I'ma see y'all. Ouch. FaceTime mommy. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through